In this video, I'm going to introduce a AI powered page builder that allows you to create stunning looking websites and content with AI without any coding skills. So all you have to do is to just describe the kind of website that you want, the style, the design, the content, and within a few seconds, the AI will generate a full blown website that is ready to be used. Along with the prompt, if you want to, you can even provide a website URL for the AI to take inspiration from or to even completely copy the design from a particular website. After the initial version is ready, you can further customize the website however you want to by adding new elements, making changes to the existing elements or even adding completely new pages. And once everything is done, you have the option to export it and make it live on any page builders of choice, including Elementor, Gutenberg, Webflow, Figma, among others. And the best part, all the designs that UI Brainix generates are 100% mobile responsive. So let's quickly get started. So here I have opened up UI Brainix and this right here is the AI powered page builder that I was talking about. And again, if you do want to use it, all you got to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to softlight.io slash UI Brainix. And as you can see, it is built beautiful WordPress and Webflow sites faster with UI Brainix AI. And as you can see, it supports Webflow, Elementor, Bricks, Breakdance, Gutenberg, Figma and more. And again, first thing first, head over to the first link in the description below and go ahead and sign up for a new account. And here I have already logged in. So once you log into UI Brainix, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And as you can see, it says build websites faster with UI Brainix AI. And now the first thing that you have to do is to click on this button here that says add new project. So I'll click on the same. And now I need to provide a name for my project. So in this case, let's keep it as, let's say, okay, I have a travel agency or a travel company and the name is, let's say travel X. Okay. So that is the name and I'll click on create project. And now once you create a project, you have two options. You can either start from a pre-built template or start from a blank page and use AI to like start building it from scratch. So if you click on this pre-built template option right here, it will now open up all the templates that you can start using in just a single click. For example, if you want to, let's say, if you're a fan of Neo Brutalism and you want Neo Brutalism kind of, uh, you know, uh, effects, you can select this one right here. Or if you like this one, you can select this. I mean, if you want to start from a template, you can select any of these in here. But in this case, I want to go custom and I want to build one from scratch. So I'll select this option here that says blank page. But in your case, if you find a good template that suits your use case, you can select it from here. And now I'll click on blank page option right here. And now it opens up this interface and this is where all the magic happens. And towards the right side, this is where you'll be able to find the design after the AI generates it. And here you can find the code preview and this is where you send message. And again, all you have to do is to just give a prompt in here, right? And now as for giving prompt, even for that, you have multiple options. So if you want to give a simple plain uh, uh, text for a prompt, like explaining exactly what you want, you can simply explain that in here. Or if you want the AI to take inspiration from a particular website, well, you can just copy the link and put it in here as well. For example, in this case, let's say, okay, I, I like the design of Airbnb a lot. So what I'll do is I'll just copy the same like this. And now all I have to do is to just tell the AI what I want. Okay. So in this case, I want to build a website for my travel agency that primarily focuses on tour packages, holiday packages, uh, hotel stay options, among others. So I'm giving a simple and plain, you know, prompt right here and take inspiration from Airbnb. And I'll just add the URL in here, just like that. Okay, so I don't want to clone it completely, but I want to take design inspirations. That So that is all that I want to do. And now I'll click on this send button right here. And again, as you can see, it says need to clone a website exactly. Try clone WebEx. Again, I have created a video about clone WebEx and it works flawlessly if you want to clone a website. And if you want to watch that video, I'll make sure to leave it in the i button above or link in description below. So in this case, I don't want to completely, let's say, clone the Airbnb website. I just want to take design inspirations from here and there. And if you want to, let's say, attach a image you can click on this button right here or if you want to let's say select a color palette you can select it from here so in this case i'm i'm just leaving it to ai and next step you also have the option to select the font as well okay so if you are specific you can just select all of that in here and now i'll click on the send button so here i have sent the message and it says fetching the provided url so every time you give a prompt and if the ur if the prompt has a url the ai will go through the content the actual design and everything else of that particular page so as that the ai can take inspiration and design something similar okay so as you can see ui brainix has started working on the same so let's wait all right so there you go as you can see the ai has started writing the code 
and as the AI writes the code, we can find a real time preview being generated on the right side. So as the AI adds new links, I can find all of that in here. So that's also one more good thing, right? As the AI is building, you're able to see that in the right side. And I haven't really specified any color scheme or any other details in here, nor did I select any color palette, but still the AI actually used this red color because we gave this uh, Airbnb as a uh, inspiration. In which ways I'll wait for the AI to complete designing this page and I'll see you afterwards. All right, so there you go. This right here is the initial version of the web page that the AI has created and it actually looks really good, right? So if you take a look at the Airbnb website and if you take a look at the search element right here, as you can see here, we have a particular design incorporating three different uh, fields and then a search box, right? Well, if you take a look at it here, the AI has actually preserved it and, and took inspiration from Airbnb for that. And here we have the sign up button. Okay, so here we have this carousels of popular destinations. Then we have travel packages, testimonials, and FAQ section. Okay, so pretty much all of that looks good, right? And one thing that I want to change about this particular page is this uh, gradient color right here. It doesn't suit well, right? Well, all I have to do is to click on this button here and I'll be able to select and target a individual element within the page. As I hover over all these elements, you can find a selection being made, right? Well, I'll select this section right here. And after that, I'll say, I want to change the gradient background of this particular container. Let's keep it something simple. And I'll click on this send button and let's see. Okay, there you go. Right now we have more like a bluish color. Okay, let's just ask the AI to change it to, let's say something red. Can you please incorporate some red kind of gradient color? So in a similar fashion, you can just go ahead and give prompts and make changes to the page however you want to. So in this case, I'm trying to make changes to the hero section right here. Okay, so this looks reasonably good. And if you want to make it lighter or add a pink shade or anything, you can go ahead and add it. And next up, let's just say you want to directly make changes to any of these. For example, let's say this uh, text element right here. You can select the select option again and select the text. And after that, as you can see, you can now directly make changes to the text without giving a prompt. So if you want to do that, you have the option. You can adjust the margin, padding, font size, font weight, and you even have the option to let's say change the color as well, okay? So in this case, I'll keep it as white alignment and all that looks good. But if you want to, you can totally change everything. So I can click on apply. And right now this right here is our home page. And if I click on the about link, it doesn't do anything. So next step, let's just ask the AI to create a new page for the about page, right? So what I'll do is, can you please create a about page explaining about our company and link the same in the nav bar. And now I'll click on the send button. So right now we have our home page ready and next up I want to build a about page. So let's wait for it. As you can see, the AI is building the about.html file. And in a similar fashion, if you want to build other pages, well, all you gotta do is to give the exact same prompt as to what you what page you want to generate and hit enter and the AI will keep building all these pages. So right now we have the home.html file and the about.html file. So let's see, it is working on it. All right, so there you go. Here we have the about section and it is maintaining the exact same styling as our home page right here. That's a good thing. In which ways, this right here is the about page that the AI has created. Here we have the art story section, numbers, a couple of cards, the team members. Okay, looks good, right? Now, in a similar fashion, you can just keep adding prompts and building the website however you want to. And let's assume I have finished designing the web page, right? Next step, I want to make it live. I want to, let's say, copy the same to my WordPress website and make it live. And that's where things get very interesting. And to export and make it live on your target page builder, all you have to do is to click on this export button towards the top right corner and here you're given the option to select the settings okay so if you want to export the entire page or a particular selection you can select it from here so in this case i'll keep it as entire page and after that you you want to select the page builder so here we have a lot of options like elementor gutenberg webflow bricks breakdance figma etc so in this case i'll keep it as elementor and now in the requirement section it says click here to download and install softlight io integration plugin and then the container settings has to be flexbox and then i can directly paste it okay so that is what it says and if i click on this button right here it will download the plugin file so you will have to sort of install it first in which ways here i have opened up a dummy wordpress website and if i go to plugins and click on add plugin and if i click on upload plugin 
and now all i have to do is to drag and drop this zip file right here and install this plugin so in this case i have already done that so if i go to uh installed plugins and as you can see softlight.io integration plugin is already live so the first thing that you have to do is to install the softlight plugin next up you need of course elementor installed and i believe you already have elementor installed so in my case i here i already have elementor installed in which case now that we have both elementor and the softlight integration plugins installed i'll just try to create a new page i'll click on let's say pages option and then click on add page and i want to edit this page using elementor so i'll click on edit with elementor and now it should open up the elementor editor let's see okay there you go and next up i want to uh export and copy this entire page right well i'll click on this option that says export okay i'll click on allow and it says copied okay i can head back and now all i have to do is to right click and click on this option that says paste from other site uh okay i can press command v so there you go here i have pasted the page content and as you can see pretty much everything is in sync and this is exactly what i have in here so the exact same design is now pasted into my elementor uh, based website on wordpress and if i click on this view button as you can see there we have it so here we have the nav bar then we have this all the search options then we have the carousels in here then we have all of these details right next up let's just say i want to copy the about page well i can move to the about page and again i'll select entire page and elementor looks good and now i'll click on this export button and let's wait for it so now we have our main page that is the home page already in our wordpress site right next up i'll copy to the clipboard the same and now i can head back and okay let's head back i'll just create a new page click on edit with elementor and now all i gotta do is to right click paste from other side and control v or command v and there you go the same is now pasted and here we have it and next up if i click on this publish button and if i click on this button right here there you go our about page is also live it is as easy as that so you just explain what kind of page you want or what kind of website the design the content and everything else in this ui brain x AI interface right here you give the prompt and now the AI will make all the changes here and you can find a real preview of the same and once you're satisfied and once you're happy you click on this export button copy it head back to your elementor website paste it and there you go you have it you can do it for any number of pages or any number of sites and it will work flawlessly and anytime you want to make changes to it well you just make changes to it in here and copy again and clear all the content from here and paste it again and you're pretty much good to go so this is how simple it is and this is how simple it is to use ui brainx by softlight io to pretty much design any kind of pages of your choice for your website or your small business or whatever that is and you can just make it live on any page builder of choice like gutenberg uh, figma webflow etc and all you have to do is that you just create the design in here you press and copy it and you go back to your target page editor and paste it and you're pretty much sorted and again if you do want to use it all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below head over to ui brain x website and you can purchase it and start using it right away i know that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in today's video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one